Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the Laplace transformation. Today we will find the inverse Laplace transformation of some special functions are there. This is the part fourth of this series are there. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in here. These are the some standard Laplace formulas and their corresponding inverse Laplace transformation that we have discussed in our previous ones. So far we have discussed this one that is a type one of the shifting first theorem based questions shifting second theorem based question and the last part was on division by t rules are there and now we will see some special kinds of the function like logarithm tan inverse cot etc how you can find the laplace inverse of here for example here how you can find the laplace inverse of this how you can find the laplace inverse of this and so on so we will see in in this examples are there whenever there is a, some special kind of the function what you can do is you have to consider this function whatever the function here as f of x always whatever the function as here i can write as a log m upon n like this way now once you will take this then you have to take the derivative this with respect to the s what is the derivative of this with respect to s is what 1 upon s plus 3 and 1 upon s plus 2 now take the laplace inverse on the both side that's a simple rule behind that you can take the first derivative now you can take the laplace inverse on the both side so what is that laplace inverse of the derivative all of you know that laplace inverse of the if i say nth derivative what is the nth derivative is my minus one raised to power n laplace uh, t raised to power n laplace inverse of the function so now here n is my one so i can write this part as minus one raised to power one t raised to power one laplace inverse of fs that's the rule of the laplace derivative what is the laplace inverse of this this is nothing but my here laplace inverse of this is my here now i can write now your target is to find the laplace inverse of f of s that is your target is to find this value so what is that this can be taken as on the denominator that is the required answer so you can see within a couple of slides you can get the required answer Look at the another example are here. Again, this is a function of the log. So you can take as a f of s. But you can see here, this is the division by t rule are there. This is division by s. So it means this is considered with the help of the type 3. So what is my type 3? So whenever there is a division by s, what is, the what is the power of the s is 1. So you can take as the 1 integration of this. So remember, if it is a s square, then you have to take as a double integration. But here is only s, so this means uh, integration one times. Now your target is to find the Laplace inverse of this. So I can take this part as my f of s. Then we can take the derivative of this. And then we will take the Laplace inverse on both sides. So I can take f s is my here. This log again. Now you can take the derivative with respect to the s. We will get this expression take the laplace inverse on the both side this laplace inverse is my here laplace inverse is my here now again this is the derivative one so i can write this as t is minus one this is one laplace inverse of fs so now from here you can easily find the value of laplace inverse of this value so what is the fs is my here so it means laplace inverse this value is my so i can substitute this value here you will get the required since integration is not possible so you can skip them as of here because here analytical integration is not possible you can skip them here look at the another one is there so again this is a rule of the 1 by s so again we will apply the third types that is the integration of this now here this is my so i can take f of s is my tan inverse of 2 by s now you can take the derivative of this. What is that tan inverse derivative? This is 1 upon this and derivative of here. That is my minus 2 by s square. So if you take the LCM, this is s square plus 4 minus 2 upon s square. So this s square will be cancelled out minus 2 upon s square plus 4. Now you can take the Laplace inverse on the both side. Laplace inverse of this. What is the Laplace inverse of this? Minus is common. So this is nothing but my sine of 2t. I can write this value as of minus 1 raised to power 1, t raised to power 1, Laplace inverse of 
एफ एस दिस इज नथिंग बट माई माइनस ऑफ साइन टू टी दे फोर वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस माइनस विल बी कैंसल आउट सो द लेप्लस इनवर्स ऑफ एफ एस इज माई साइन ऑफ टू टी अपॉन टी सो वट इज द एफ ऑफ एस इज माई हेयर दैट इज माई दिस सो आई कैन सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यू हेयर यू विल गेट द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर सो यू कैन सी वट इज दैट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस इज माई हेयर टेक द लेप्लस इनवर्स ऑन द बोथ साइड you will get minus 1 raised to power here so i can substitute this value here you will get this again since integration is not possible you can skip here is my required answer look at the other another one sir there again here this is the cot inverse this is the logarithm again these are the special kinds so we can take f of s is my cot inverse what is that derivative of cot inverse this is nothing but my minus 1 upon 1 plus s square Now take the Laplace inverse on the both side. What is the Laplace inverse of minus one upon here? Minus sine of t. Now you can apply the Laplace inverse of their derivative. You will get this expression minus one raised to power one t raised to power here is the required answer. For this case, what you can do is you can simply take this as my f of s. I can log it from of this. Now log m upon n. I can write like here. Now take the derivative. What is the derivative of this? This is my 2s upon s square minus 1. What is the derivative of this? Is my 2 by s. Now take the Laplace inverse on the both side. What is that? 2 is outside. So what is the Laplace inverse of s upon s square minus 1? So if it is a plus, then it will be a cos. But now it's negative, so it will be my cos hyperbolic t. What is the Laplace inverse of 1 by s this is nothing but my 1 so it is my 2 so i can take 2 as a common here and what is the laplace inverse of the derivative is minus 1 raised to power 1 here so i can find the value of this from here minus of t can be divided on the here i can get this as of the required expression or uh, otherwise you can uh, you can write this cos hyperbolic is nothing but my plus divided by 2 or if you want to move them as a fun we will see in our next class how you can find the laplace inverse of the derivative rules like whenever there is in the denominator of the square whenever there is a presence of the term square then we will apply the derivative rule that we will see in our next video till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos you can share this video with your friend till then happy learning students best of